With me today is Chiard Hook. He is Director of User Experience Design in Windows. Chiard, welcome. Thank you. So designing or managing a design aspect in Windows Vista, that has to be one of the coolest jobs at Microsoft these days. Why don't yeah. you tell us about it? Yeah, I, I kind of think so, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot, of, uh, I'm, a lot of work we've done for mm -hmm. about five years now. So uh, definitely this is the period where we get everybody to see the product and get their hands on it and use it. And uh, obviously the, the big exciting aspect of it that so many people are going to get this product, right? So there's very few products in the world that you can design that are going to impact people's lives and work uh, sort of like six, seven hundred million PCs out there. That's a lot of products. So, so we're very excited about that. It's a lot of effect your work has. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Yeah. So you say you've been doing this for about five years. Can you walk us through what the process has been from start to, to where you are now? At the, well, at the, at the sort of bird's eye view. Uh, well, we start usually with really looking at customers in the market and what kind of things they're asking for and what kind of aspects uh, we could really improve for them. And that, that takes a long time first. And then we kind of combine that with technology developments and the capabilities that the engineering teams have created. And we bring that together and start to design concepts. So just like uh, car manufacturers build concept cars, you know, we start to build these vision prototypes that people can look at and go, okay, I, I understand where we want to end up. Uh, and uh, so the next step, basically, you start to translate that concept car into real design because nobody can really drive that car, actually. It's cool. It's got crazy cool technology. It's well designed. But you got to do that whole translation uh, to get to something that actually will work for, for people. And, um, and after that, you just go build it. Right. Yeah. So uh, from the previous version of Windows, uh, when, you're when you were starting to design for Vista, what are some of the biggest challenges that you faced, and what are some of the biggest changes you wanted to make? Uh, well, one of the biggest things we wanted to this time address is that the, the amount of files people were storing on Windows really was going way beyond what actually originally sort of was, was possible to support with the whole metaphor and the whole system of folder-based organization. So if you take a, buy a video, uh, like a digital camera, you start shooting photos, pretty soon you got hundreds and thousands of files. And then you rip all your CDs and you got tens of thousands of files. And the operating system really wasn't designed to handle those kind of files in a, in a very effective way. So we wanted to re-examine that and build a different way to organize stuff, mm -hmm. quickly find things. Uh, because that, at the end, that's also an, a core part, of course, of what Windows offers in terms of value. So, so we made a lot of improvements there. Okay. Yeah. So have you been doing user experience design work the whole time at Microsoft? Yeah. 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 12 years. Okay. Yeah. Always on, on operating systems? No. I worked on uh, three releases of Office, Microsoft Office. And uh, then I went to Windows and uh, worked on sort of the early part of what, what became Windows XP. Uh, and I went to MSN. And at MSN, I worked on uh, an integrated client for all the services that we have there and the network uh, because I really wanted to understand more of what what was going on with web services and how things worked when you looked at the web. There was an interesting difference between the interaction that people have on web pages mm -hmm. compared to more traditional client-based user interfaces. So instead of menus and toolbars on web pages, you have these hyperlinks and a, a merger of functionality and content. And that was something that I wanted to understand more, like how that worked. And then after we'd done that for a while, my team actually merged with the design team that had worked on Windows XP. And we brought the knowledge about services and web pages and the knowledge around of the platform, how all that worked, and client UI together in one team to go think about Windows Vista. Right, so with the, the web world and the classic application world, they're sort of melding and becoming seamless uh, with people's right. experiences. Are kind of, they're kind of becoming into one these days. Exactly, yeah. So uh, what, what kinds of things did you do before Microsoft, or where are you from originally? I detect an accent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you can still hear it? That's good. <laughs> After 12 years, some people can hardly hear it. But uh, yeah, I'm originally from Holland. I was uh, 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 at the university. I studied industrial design engineering. I have a master's in industrial design engineering. And, when I finished my studies, I, uh, I did a graduation project around virtual reality, and that actually got me interested in human interfaces. Or, originally, I was going to design like you know, car dashboards and radios, those kind of things, physical things. And 
because I did that project, I, I realized that actually designing software interfaces was exactly the same thing. You were just not working with plastic or metal, but mm -hmm. pixels and you know things on screen, but the same sort of interaction principles that we had for product design of physical product uh, applied. And that's why I got interested in that. And I decided that if I want to work on that, I might as well work on uh, uh, something that actually had a lot of impact in the world and applied for a job at Microsoft. Right. Yeah. So do you think, given your education background, that you would want to go into hardware design someday? Or? Uh, no. no. <laughs> you know, it's actually very funny because uh, originally, as an industrial designer, when I came first, I worked on uh, this, this uh, effort that we had then. It was called Microsoft at Work. It was, most people don't remember it, but it's, uh, we were trying to sort of build these interfaces into uh, copiers and faxes and scanners and really work on integration of those devices in the office. And so my job was partially software and partially the interfaces on the hardware. And that's why I was interested in it. But um, uh, after well, a short period of time, I was actually able to completely say, like, you know, software UI design is actually just as cool as design hardware. And, and that really is my area of expertise right now. So I'm going to stick with that, I think. <laughs> yeah, 12, 12 years is pretty good work. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So what are some things you like to do outside of work? Um, if you have time. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, mostly spend time with my family, and uh, I go, uh, you guys call it rollerblading, I call it skile, or skating on roads, mm. but very fast. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, not like, really just high speed. <laughs> and uh, what else do I like to do? Uh, make music. Uh, uh, we had a band going for a while with, uh, with some of our, uh, our friends here at work. Uh, that was a lot of fun, you know, play at weddings and uh, crazy times. What do you play? Uh, Piano and bass. Okay. Mostly bass when I'm in the band, but at home I play mostly, mostly my piano. Yeah. That's fun. What kind of uh, songs do you like to play? Like classical? Uh, on piano, yeah, mostly classical, uh, blues. Uh, I'm trying to get into jazz, but uh, it's hard. And uh, and our, our band played all kinds of stuff. It was a total mess, like, but pretty cool. Like, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> uh -huh. That sounds great. <laughs> So uh, can you tell us, uh, I mean, kind of cutting edge, uh, what you can tell us of anything that's coming out of Vista that customers might not be aware of yet or what they might have not, not have seen in beta? Is there anything you can give us a sneak peek about? Well, you know, it, it's interesting because we've actually, we started showing our plans in 2003, mm -hmm. right? And this has actually been one of the hard things for us that we've had to hold a lot of stuff back and yet also have had to show the marketplace a lot of what, what, what we're planning to do. Because mm -hmm. obviously when you're building something like Windows, that's such a piece of infrastructure, you can't keep it all secret, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people have, uh, have their business based on the, the kind of platform pieces that we deliver. And so you have to be very open about that. And uh, so it, we've, well, we, we really feel like we're, you know, we've shown everybody what we have and it's time, we're totally focused now on finishing it with a lot of quality, getting all the details right. Uh, you know, sometimes there's these, certainly around UI, there are little, you know, rumors on the internet like, oh, they're gonna last minute change the whole UI. And I always go like, no, our customers don't like that sort of stuff. You know, we have beta programs to really get the feedback on what we want to build. And, uh, you know, you can't, you can't just, you know, suddenly change your plans. Mm -hmm. So we're very focused on just getting all the details right, getting everything to quality, and, and you know, shipping it on time. That's, that's what we're going to do. Well, good luck with that, and thanks for talking with me today. You're welcome. Thanks.